Good morning to you all tuning into this little video here. You know, how about a little story about manifestation and creation and how relating to a single drop of water can truly alter your reality for the best. So welcome, Mr. Nilkur here, the Lifestyle Creation Advisory channel here on YouTube or it's on my playlist or it's in my Facebook group. So let's get into it. Bit of a different video. How's this sky? Freaking amazing. Here in nature, chilling out. Uh, a little bit of a different video. I used to do these videos. Here, a little bit of insight on me. There's still a lot of these type of videos, walking and talking. When I started this journey on the YouTube and talking about this type of information, I had about 400 videos. And then I had an interaction with a person who I had some respect for and they made a comment and that totally made me question my credibility as a, as a person to speaking this type of information and sharing it. So I deleted it all and I started over again. So here we are at the beginning. And as I wake up this morning, going for a walk, I'm looking at the trees, I'm looking at the clouds, the sun, I'm looking at how branches are growing and I'm looking at you know, the potholes in the road and I'm thinking, it's all a process, isn't it? It's all a process. These trees, like you can see here, that was a little tiny seed at one stage, planted and it's been mulched, potentially watered and fertilized. And the roots grew, went down in the ground, and now it's turned in, it's turning into a young tree. There's so many things we want to happen in our life. We go, oh, I, I, I want this, I want that, I want that. And we get stressed out on the outcome. So I'm going to lead into what this is all about. And if you look at erosion, it's a process. It's something that happens over time. And I put this down to a time and energy sequence, okay? Which is a process. What is a process? It's time and energy sequence. One drop of water over a period of time, a time and energy sequence, has the power, the capability to pit a rock. Okay? Just that one drop, drop, drop. Then you multiply that and you turn that into rain. You've just increased the influence of that one drop, the power of that one drop. Okay, now you can erode freaking cliffs. Okay, groups of rocks, boulders can be worn away. If you look at the environment, I believe it's through North America or somewhere over there, even here in Australia, look anywhere where there's rocks over a period of time, time energy sequence. Earth has been worn away by the elements. How does that relate to you? And how does that assist you listening to this little story manifest good things you desire in your life? They bring forward the benefit. Well, it's just exactly that. Be that drop of water. Drop, drop, drop. If you consider a stonemason, chips away at a piece of stone and eventually creates a masterpiece okay when you sculpt stone or a marble statue was created from just a lump of marble and through a time and energy sequence a process an outcome was produced but it was holding that outcome in the mind all the time and not wavering from it now there might be times in your along the way that you do have a little bit of negativity that's okay, just witness it. And I said, why is that? What, why are you doubting? What's the doubt? Uh, yogi teacher said to me once, hey, learn to doubt your doubts. <laughs> like, wow, that's pretty cool. If you doubt your doubts, then it has no power over you because, well, you're doubting the doubt. Well, how do you know that's true? How do you know it won't work out? How do you know that person is going to say this thing or not say that? How do you know you won't find the house in in a short period of time. You don't know a lot of the outcomes. So you focus on what is the potential. So it's like that one drop of water that over time, 
period, time and energy sequence on a, on a rock slowly pitted it away and then over even more time now that water resides in the rock because it's created a home for itself in the rock you understand that how that works and that'll blow your fucking mind okay now it's like the weather the sun goes up comes up and the sun goes down the clouds change they're not always like this the wind comes from different directions on the compass okay things change but there's also a permanence in that there's a permanence in wind there's a permanence in sun there's a permanence in rain there's a permanence in cloud there's a permanence in grass or the color okay and the color may change through the seasons but you know that the grass will always become green again so you start to relax people you start to calm your farm i say calm your farm Calm down and learn to just let go of things being instant. This is one of my favorite little, little stories. If that even an instant coffee has a process. Okay, you need to heat up the water. I like it, not boiled, just very hot water. You, you need to open up the coffee jar. You need to put the coffee in the cup. You need to be ready for the water to reach your desired temperature. And then you pour it into, there's no like, oh, I want an instant coffee and there it is. Well, shit, instantly. That's not true. There's a time and energy sequence for freaking everything. That's manifestation, people. That's creation. And when you tap into that and you realize the truth about that, you start to feel a lot more relaxed. And I understand there's going to be things going on around you that aren't the best right now take this little piece of information the way you can separate yourself from all that is to own up and take responsibility what did you contribute to that outcome okay maybe you're reluctant to make a decision about something and you haven't removed yourself from where you are and now you're stuck in a bit of chaos but you're not stuck okay you just it's temporary the sun comes up and the sun goes down just remember that Okay, and it's up to up to you if you want to put things on a loop and stay in a position in your life that is not beneficial to you. And if you're like, oh, it's never going to happen, da 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 da, oh, that's incorrect. It will happen once you start chipping away, chip away, people. And if you've got a, if you've got the energy, you've got the fucking focus and the mentality, you can do more than just chip away. You can start to fucking hack away, smash, bash, crash get at it any way you can you see people who do that they just get fucking committed one step in front of the other you've heard it before okay what, what's the that's another little quote before we close off you can have miles of intention but it's the things you do inch by inch that will get you where you want to go you understand that you can have miles of in intention and ambition but unless you unless you're moving forward You'll never get to where you want to go. So that's it. Where do you want to go, people? Where do you want to be? Who do you want to become? Manifest and create that. Because you're the master of the, your mind. And I say, be good, be great, be brilliant, people. Lifestyle creation. It's just a friendly little advice. A little dream weaver, Mr. Dream Weaver here. Help you dream your week. Right? And weave your dreams. Dream your weave and weave your dreams, people. It's up to you. So say, learn to master yourself. Because when you learn to master yourself, you learn to master your life. And it's pretty freaking cool. You can start to pay attention to things that you never paid attention to before. And you realize, well, it's not hard. It's not a struggle. It's not all this bullshit I'm getting bombarded with it's just up to me on how I look at things and how I think and feel and act it's a time and energy sequence okay you've been carrying on for a lot for your life you understand you need to you know buckle down and change your attitude and that and put the things in the play that assist you with that right, so my name is Neil Kerr I'm a dream weaver, I'm a mind mechanic, and I have the ability to help you alter your life if you allow me. So just a friendly little bit of 
advice here about how you can have a better lifestyle and what you need to do to create that. To be good, be great, be fucking brilliant people. Learn to master yourself. When you learn to master yourself, learn to master your life. Peace.